Is this Dick's Sporting Goods? Yes. Hi, I'm planning a big prank soon, and I'm wondering how much it's gonna cost. Uh, what is the approximate price of your AR-15s? We don't sell those anymore. What? What in the fuck? What do you mean your sporting goods store doesn't sell AR-15s anymore? What the fuck? Hey, Junkie! You wanna take a break from whatever you're doing and come open some mail with me? What? No! Can't you read the sign? Get the fuck out of here! Are you sure? Some of these are addressed specifically to Junkie Jones and Faggot! Junkie Jones and Faggot? Junkie Moans too! That sounds like it was addressed to us! Please kill me. Please! Please just fucking kill me! I had a leak under my armpit! I've been stuck like this for two weeks! Wow, you weren't kidding! These are all specifically addressed to Junkie Jones and Faggot! I bet that didn't make it awkward at all when you picked it up from the guy at the post office! Let's see what's in this first one! Oh wow! A Kagistan flag! A Donald Trump flag! And $10,000 in cash! Boy, I've gotta say, this is definitely in my top five favorite packages so far! Alright, now let's see what's in this box! Wow! A USSR flag! A North Korean flag! And an expired state of Georgia flag! I wonder why they changed it! Oh, and also a barrel full of monkeys! And the final Junkie Jones and Faggot package is this giant one! Oh boy! An AR-15! How'd you know that's exactly what I wanted? Dick Sporting Goods, you can go suck my Junkie cock! Hey, Junkie Moans 2, what's the difference between me and any given resident of Detroit? I don't know. What is it? When I get $10,000, it's not drug money! Ah! <laughs> Alright, Junkie opened so many things that he actually wanted, and knowing my fans, I bet I'm about to open a bunch of things I actually want to! <laughs> We've got a small package from Ireland! <laughs> so much communist- oh, Phil! So much communist memorabilia today, folks! Dear Monkey Jones, I hope in your autistic wisdom that you play this anime game. Also, shout out to Sean the Cuck from Kerry and VG the Serbian. Karate Kid is the best anime ever. Uh, me something best waifu. Kill yourself. Awesome. Let's see what this anime game is. Oh, yeah, it certainly is an anime game. Nintendo DS copy of Cory in the house. If my 3DS that has the capture card can run this game, which it, it probably can, uh, go over to Monkey's Gaming Expedition. It'll come as soon as the Imagine Babies Let's Play comes out at an undisclosed time. So look forward to it. Okay, let's get one of these big boxes open. Oh yeah, I should probably mention this was not addressed to me. This was addressed to somebody named David Trudel. But it's my P.O. Box address. It's from some guy named Robert. I don't know if this was on purpose or not, but I'm gonna open it anyway, and we'll see what David was supposed to get. It's a lot of pink packing peanuts. What in the fuck? City Tech, the Battle Mech game of urban combat? Is this like a crazy board game? If this is like a, a rare collector's item that was actually supposed to go to David whoever the fuck, I'm sorry. 
I hope this is worth a lot of money on eBay, because that's where it's going, baby! Oh, yeah! Well, it looks like it's one of these board games where you gotta have a huge booklet to explain how to play, and you've got like all of these little, you know, pieces and papers and shit, and like all these big crazy maps. And I looked it up on Amazon, and a used copy of this game runs for about 40 bucks, which uh, is not cheap for an old ass board game. So I hope some guy is not waiting for this and Monkey Jones got it by accident. I don't think I'm going to play it, because it looks a little too sophisticated for my feeble <laughs> Game Boy mind. There's a, a box inside of this box and it uh, looks like a note. Oh my god! Uh, oh wow. Okay, it says, Yo Gaylord, here's a Wii to play all the autistic $1 GameCube and Wii games I sent you on Amazon since your faggot ass can't scrounge up the money to buy literally the most common system ever. <laughs> Stop complaining about being sent games. Wow. Can you believe he sent me a whole fucking Wii? Does that have, does it have all the component cords and shit? Does that have a controller? That's the craziest thing I've ever got, I think. Open it Other than $10,000 cash. Make sure it's really in there. Oh my god, yeah, well, it's got a controller and a nunchuck and the fucking sensor. It's got everything! It's got it all! I, I guess, thank you so much! You literally sent me a Wii! That's fucking berserk! How much does this shit cost now? All of this shit? Boy, that's crazy! Thank you! Alright, another Amazon package. Yet again, it's a package inside a package. The great irony would be if there's a Russian doll in here. You, you get that one? Your grandma probably got that one. Did you get Are you laughing? Do you get it? The Russian doll? Because this is a doll inside of a doll inside... You guys are fucking dumb. It's another fucking Down Syndrome King Jones! Fucking stupid fuck... I don't want another one! One is too many! Fuck you, Down Syndrome fucking bitch! <laughs> oh, perfect! Perfect! It'll match our new Wii! We got a Wii edition of Beastly! What's Beastly? Looks like a Twilight ripoff, down to the font and, and everything! Kyle Kingston is the spoiled, shallow prince of his high school kingdom. High school kingdom. But when he humiliates a witch-like classmate, she retaliates by transforming him into someone as unattractive on the outside as he is on the inside. Now he has one year to find someone to love him in his new physical state, or he will remain beastly forever. Play the companion video game to the exciting CBS Films motion picture and live the fantasy. Oh my god. Can the Wii game is can you find love if you're ugly? I don't need to play that on the Wii. Is he the ugly guy? Yeah, I guess so. Doesn't look that bad. He looks beastly. Monkey, here's the copy of Pun Pun, I promise. Don't remember that promise. I really hope you enjoyed as much as I did, P.S. I've also bought you other stuff, too. Please don't kill yourself yet, Katie. Toast McGhost. Hey, Katie! You're one of my big patrons. Thanks, my friend. I remember you. Oh, it's an anime book. It's a big old anime book. Good night, pun pun. Uh, I, oh, I guess I, I have it backwards. Good night, pun pun. That's interesting. Okay, I'll give you my anime book analysis right after this. Here's one from somebody in California. What's in the shoebox, folks? Uh, looks like some, uh, some psychedelic artwork that you did in the middle of 10th grade sociology class. Hello, I no longer have any use for these poems of mine. Once upon a time, they held value to me. Now they take up a spare something in a room that desperately needs cleaning. Okay, well, instead of throwing away his old poems he wrote when he was bored in high school, he sent them to me. 
I guess we'll have an anime book review and a poetry review. You want to read some high school kids' amateur poetry? No, oh. not even a little. You want to do Cheap Over's Poetry Corner? Dead in tree, who gave life to one. Damp clothes, flesh and soul, to those who go there, cold. Dry grass, hungry for water and sun, scorched suffering buried deep in the earth. I don't fucking care. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. You did that better than I could have anyway. Fucking poems. The lowest form of literature, fucking Ew. poetry. This is like a peed on. Fuck. Oh, another book. <laughs> To preventing homosexuality, folks! Uh-oh. <laughs> By Joseph Nicolosi, PhD! He got a PhD in preventing kids from becoming gay! Okay, I'll read you the chapter titles to start. Masculinity is an achievement. The pre-homosexual boy. Born this way? All in the family. That sounds like a pro-incest chapter, to be honest. Friends and feelings confronting adolescence. Here's one you might relate to. Mm -hmm. From tomboys to lesbians. Because she over's gay folks. I'm gay. Yeah. The politics of treatment, the healing process, a mother's journal, and health hazards of homosexual behavior and identity. Mm, I want to read that one. This might be uh, this might be an actual uh, audio book from Monkey Jones. I didn't do Donald Trump's book. Didn't really do the autism one, but this this is so intriguing to me. I can't believe this is not a joke book. Maybe it is, but it looks fucking real to me. And finally, we've got a big one. Huh, this is pretty heavy. Uh, oh, wow, this is very heavy. Here's monkey! So, you want to prevent homosexuality? Well, there's the nerdy way, and there's the manly way. Ain't no son of mine gonna be a fucking homo, can't be gay, no guy motherfucking dick! That's not all. That's not all, we got some ninja weapons, folks! Mamkashi season two, are these kunai knives and a sword? This is not safe. Somebody as suicidal as me should not have this many sharp weapons. <laughs> oh my God, my name's on it. They engraved my name onto the sword. You see that shit? I don't know what to say. I've never had a ninja sword with my name engraved on it before. What are you even supposed to do? Culture shock. Fucking real kunai knives! I'm like Kakashi over here! Oh my god, that's fucking sharp. Okay, let's do some target practice. Okay, alright. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Woo! Alright. Yeah! Yeah! Rusty K, teach your heart out! Call me Sasuke Uchiha, baby! Woo! Well, I've gotta say, I got a whole bunch of stuff I was never expecting. Didn't expect $10,000 in cash. Didn't expect a Wii. Didn't expect a real super sharp ninja blade with my name engraved on it. But it's just another day in the monkey's mailbag, folks. I'll see you next month with more of this autism goodness, baby. If you'll excuse me, I got some infidels to take care of. Where's my book? Where's, where's the Quran part two, baby? Let's fucking... Hey everybody, thank you for watching the newest episode of Monkey's Mailbag, and did you know over on my Fiverr account you can pay me to read whatever you want at the end of these videos. Speaking of which, become a patron of my good and better brother, Patchy Jones, who is now also dating my ex-girlfriend Sheepover. He is so much cooler than me. Please also join the official Monkey Jones Discord, link in the description. And now that I'm done reading the part that I had to read, I'll just say there is no official Monkey Jones Discord because I got paid $20 to delete it about a month ago. <laughs>
I'll see you on Friday for the short film festival, folks. Look forward to it.